welcome to Link's Workout. This is a beginner level bodyweight exercise video to help you get in shape to make it through the Lost Woods. I recommend that you complete the amount of repetitions for each exercise or follow along as I demonstrate them. Be sure to move at your own pace and to take breaks as needed. Our first exercise is 20 lunges. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart, then take a step forward two to three feet in front of you, keeping your back heel off the floor. Bend both knees and lower your hips until your forward thigh is parallel to the floor. Then raise back up slowly. Pause at the top, then take a step out with the other leg to repeat the exercise. Be sure to keep your abs tight and to raise your chest throughout these movements. If you want to make this exercise a bit easier, you can try keeping your feet stationary and just lowering yourself down slowly. But if you want to make it more challenging, try using more explosive movements, turning this exercise into a hop between lunges. You will feel this tire out your quads faster. Regardless of which form you are using, make sure that your knee doesn't cross over your toes and that you're keeping your hips square. Our second exercise is 10 push-ups. To begin, lie face down with your hands underneath your shoulders. Then contract your abs and press into your hands. Straighten your arms while raising your torso and hips together so that your body forms a straight line diagonal to the floor. Pause at the top, then lower your body back down maintaining that line. To make this exercise easier, you can perform this on your knees. Be sure to keep your abs contracted and your hips in line with your chest to avoid any drooping or arching. You want to be as straight as you can throughout this whole exercise. There are a couple ways to do a tricep push-up. You can do it as I'm demonstrating here, where I'm making a triangle with the palms of my hands. Or, you can try tucking your elbows into your sides and performing a regular push-up. This just puts more stress on your triceps rather than biceps. The best way to make push-ups easier is to do it against a more vertical surface. This takes some stress off your shoulders and back, and you can still perform the exercise. Our next exercise is 20 squats to practice bending down and picking up those pots. Keeping your abs tight and your back straight, lower yourself down as if going into a seated position, then straighten your legs to return to standing. Be sure to keep your weight over your heels and not have your knees cross over your toes when you are lowered. Also try to keep your knees from coming together during the movement. To make this exercise easier, try placing a rolled up towel or something sturdy underneath your heels. This will help you maintain more stability and reduce the amount of work you have to perform. Up next is 10 sit-ups. Lie on your back, preferably on an exercise mat or softer surface. Bend your knees and plant your feet about hip distance apart. Place your hands on the back of your head or on your shoulders. Then exhale as you contract your abs and gently raise your torso by bending your hips and waist. Continue to lift up until your torso is just inches from your thighs. Pause at the top, then inhale and return to the starting position. Be sure to keep your hands light on the back of your head and your elbows out. Never tuck or fold your neck. Plant your feet firmly on the ground to prevent them from rolling up as you sit up and down. Move right into 20 sitting twists. Stay seated on the floor with your legs extended and together. With your abs engaged and back straight, lean back about 45 degrees, rotate from one side to the other to make one full repetition. Be sure to turn your entire upper body and not just your arms. Refrain from twisting or swinging your legs for it's a sign that you aren't using your core for the exercise. Our next exercise is 10 curls or bag lifts. I suggest using a light comfortable weight for this exercise, such as a backpack carrying your adventuring items. Start by standing with your feet shoulder width apart, keeping your elbows close to your torso, and rotate the palms of your hands so they are facing forward. Now keeping your elbow and shoulder in place, exhale while curling your hands towards your shoulders until your biceps are fully contracted. Pause at the top, then slowly lower the weight while inhaling. Make sure you're standing tall with your back straight and your shoulders rotated back. Try to refrain from leaning forward or sticking out your elbow. Next is 20 flex.
flutter kicks. Lie down on your back on either a mat or soft surface with your legs extended and your arms alongside you, palms down. Lift both feet about 4 to 6 inches off the floor while pressing your lower back into the mat. Then keep your legs straight as you switch raising one leg higher than the other. One thing that will help relieve some pressure is to place your hands underneath your glutes for more support. Be sure to keep breathing throughout this exercise as it's really easy to forget. Our last exercise to achieve Hylian hero strength is a plank. Place your hands directly underneath your shoulders, slightly wider than shoulder width apart as if you're going to do a push-up. Ground the toes into the floor and squeeze your glutes to stabilize your body. Your legs should also be working in this move as well, careful not to lock or hyperextend your knees. To help keep your neck straight, try looking at a spot on the floor about a foot beyond your hands, and this should help your head be in line with your back. Lastly, remember to keep breathing throughout this exercise. That's the end of one set for this workout. I recommend completing at least two to three sets in order to get a decent amount of work in, but listen to your body and only do as much as you can. You can repeat this video to help guide you through the exercises again, or follow the exercise outline in the description below. Once the exercises start becoming easier, try challenging yourself to do the progressions for the exercises or complete more sets of the workout. Thank you for watching, and remember, it's dangerous to go alone, so keep training!